Have you ever wondered where Purdue University gets its main water supply from? Well, listen on. Purdue University sits on top of the Tay's Aquifer. If you don't know what an aquifer is, it's basically an underground geologic body that can store and transmit water. So, the Tay's Aquifer is where the university and the surrounding towns get its water supply from. But how does the Tay's Aquifer get or replenish its water supply? From infiltration. Infiltration is what hydrologists call rain that finds its way underground instead of making its way into a stream or river. But how easily does rainwater make its way down there, and what conditions make water easily transmittable? Well, here in Indiana, we like to learn with the race. So, here we are at the Infiltration 500. Right here in West Lafayette, competing today, we have a dry, sandy soil found near the Wabash River, a saturated clay soil found right at the river's edge, a soil from a lightly forested region with some pebbles underneath, and soil from right here in our own backyard. Each of these four soils will race against each other in a time trial to see where the fastest infiltration occurs. And the flag is down! And the winner is dry sand. The infiltration was completed within four whopping minutes. Wow! And the runner up is the slightly forested slash pebbly soil. It managed to finish within nine minutes. Now, the wet sand and regular backyard soil fight for third place. Who will win? And it looks like wet sand beat the backyard soil, folks! It took about 20 minutes for wet sand infiltration to complete. And there we have it, the fastest infiltration occurred in dry sand. Let's give sand an honorary victory lap for its amazing feat today. So, let's review. Why did water infiltrate faster in the dry sand compared to the wet clay sand? Well, since sand has a larger grain size compared to clay, the hydraulic conductivity was higher and infiltration was faster. You see, in the world of hydrology and Alan Hazen, the larger the grain size, the higher the hydraulic conductivity, and thus, the faster the water is able to transmit through the porous medium. So then, why did the forested region finish faster than the regular yard soil? Well, the forested soil was a mix of clay soil with higher amounts of pebbles, and the regular yard soil had more clay and less pebbles. So, with a higher average grain size, the forested region's infiltration was much faster. So there we have it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you later for another race.